What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. We're back, playing Morrowind. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Oh, shut up, you, you Enwa! Sorry, I'm trying not to use such oh, vulgar language in my videos, but sometimes I just can't help myself. So there's one more thing I want to do here in Satanine before we leave, and it's a quest that anyone who's played Morrowind is more than familiar with. I figured I'd break the mold by not doing it in the first video. But, uh, Speak it's one that I would Outlander like to do, because it's about away. 200 free gold, pretty much. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Oi, boy -o. All right, first scar of Flatfoot. How's it going? You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend, if you'd like to help me recover some gold. That's right, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes. Lost a bit of money, normally I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets, just in the locals. Pay us for protection. He's a condom salesman? Anyway, he says he's been shaking down Fargoth for money and he wants us to find. Uh, he's not been getting enough uh, out of him, as so he thinks Fargoth's hiding the money. He wants us to help find it. It being Fargoth's hiding place. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is the top of the lighthouse. That'll give you a nice view. Keep an eye on him, and I'm sure you'll be able to find out where he's taking that gold. I see. So we're supposed to wait at the top of the lighthouse and see if we can see Fargoth. So where's Fargoth right now? There he is there holding a torch. Alright, cool. This should make him easy to follow. Hopefully we can just keep our eye on him. We'll be able to sort of follow him to his hiding place without actually following him. We'll just watch him from the top of the lighthouse. Easy peasy, right? It's like free money, man. Okay, we're up top. Yep, look, there he is. He's sneaking around. That's him right over there. Right next to my cursor. What's he doing? Yeah, her frame rate, her frame rate looks a little low. Hey, Fargoth looks fine, but some people, like that guard in the distance, their frame rate looks a little funny. It's weird. Not sure why it does that. Does he see us? Looks like he's looking the snow. I guess he didn't notice us up here. I mean, it's pretty bright up here next to the lighthouse, but... Oh, that looks nice. But, uh, I don't think that he could see us. He, I don't think he would notice us up here on top of it. Why would you be looking up here at night? I don't know. Oh, man, the town looks nice from up here. This is a good view. This is sort of demonstrating the graphical capabilities, isn't it? Oh, there, look, look at him. He's, he's swimming around in the muck down there. What's he doing? Huh. Oh, he's definitely doing something there. Oh. Now he's sneaking away. Yeah, that's gotta be his hiding spot. Let's go check it out. Bonsai! Oh, God. Your acrobatic skill increased to six. Cool. So we'll just... Yeah, look, he's, he ran right off. Must be some good stuff. Ah, look at this hollow tree stump. Your journal's been updated. Healing ring, lockpick, 300 gold. Nicely done. You know what? I don't think I'm going to give that to her scar. Let's just make a little uh, little motion here. So I think it's time we got we got our uh, our walking shoes on and took a little trip to Balmora. It says to go that way. That's not, that isn't the road to Balmora, is it? Anyway, let me. Uh, Step back here. See if we know anything about Balmora. Balmora is north of Sidonine, the fort. The road passes Pelagid Village and Fort Pelagid, crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, and then turns west across the Odai River and into Balmora. Okay. So it basically just says go north. That's what I thought. So, looking at the map here, I haven't shown you yet, but we can look at the world as well. This is the, the island of Vardenfell. There's some Solstheim up there, and then, uh, there's some more down here off the bottom of the map. There's Sedanine. Oh, there's Pelagiad. Somebody put that on our map for us, I guess. And there's the fort. Oh yeah, we asked him about the route, and he gave us the landmarks. Cool. And this is Balmora. Alright, sweet. Well, I suppose we better put on our walking shoes. Oh, it's so, it's so nice out. 
Ugh, man, that night, the night sky is just so cool. It just it totally gets the atmosphere exactly right for these nighttime walks out here. Hmm, what is this down here? Is it a mine or a crypt or something back here? What is this? Excuse me, Mr. Plant. Ada Mosartus. Hmm. That's another dungeon we could explore if we wanted. I think I'll skip it for now. I'd like to... I'd like to get around this plant is what I'd like to do. I'm not interested in taking on that little ruin yet. I don't actually remember exactly what's in there, but I remember it gave me trouble once, so... I'm gonna wait until I'm at a more capable fighting stance. Yep, I'm gonna just take every freaking out chemical ingredient I run past that I happen to notice, so... It's gonna slow us down a little bit, I'll be honest, because stopping to grab this stuff is, uh... sort of a nice... sort of taking the scenic route. That is just so pretty, man. I wish our, the real night sky looked like that. This is so beautiful. Okay, looks like the road goes up this way. Alright, well this is the farthest I've ever been from Sedanine with this mod installed. This is it, Mr. Frodo. One more step and this is the farthest I've ever been from home. From, from the Shire. Okay. Yep, Balmore is that way. Makes sense. Eh, we'll pass on some of the mushrooms. I don't need to get all of them. I'm gonna end up with a, with a whole backpack full of them before too long anyway. Oh, wow. Look at this. God, this looks good. I like the different... The, the trees are different. The mushrooms are different. Everything just looks great. I'm going to try and increase my short blade skill a little bit. Our destruction skill is a bit higher than our short blade right now. We could use some short blade training. Fighting these little Kwama foragers is not a very dangerous assignment. It's a good way to just increase our skill without having a lot of risk involved. There we go. He doesn't have much. I'm gonna rest here until I get my health back. Probably won't get interrupted after just an hour or two. Is that the fort over there? Oh no, I bet that's Pelagian. Okay. Look at the leaves falling. With the leaf falling, man! Oh, dude, did you see the leaf? Look at the leaves! Oh, that's awesome. There's definitely a town over there. Just stick to the road. Yeah, look at the variety of trees. Oh, there's another... This looks like an ancestral tomb back here. Let's see what it is. Adrano ancestral tomb. Huh, some comberry. Picked. <laughs> okay. I guess some of the plants don't disappear when you grab them. They don't typically, in the... in usual Morrowind, uh, but the modded version, some of the plants disappear to show that you've gathered them. Ooh, there's a guar over there. What's he doing? I wonder if he's friendly. I think I might leave him alone. Not gonna mess with him. Can I pick these little ones? Nope. I guess we can just be some practice learning what we can pick, what we can't. Black anther plant. Willow flowers. I'll take those. Heather. Okay. Cool. Take all that stuff. All the goodies, please. The sunrise! It's, it's almost... It's almost... Well, I guess it's morning now, isn't it? Nice. What is this? Flax here? Golden Canet. Okay. Cool. And there's a town right over there. And we should have abandoned the road. Why not? The town's right here. And some more plants. It's free ingredients, man. That makes potions we can make and sell. It's free money, essentially. Hey, guys. Your frame rates get a lot better when I'm closer. That must be an optimization thing. I didn't even turn the mods up all the way. My computer couldn't, couldn't handle it. You can see that the, I just, just at this level, I'm running at about 20 frames per second most of the time, which is playable, and it's nice. I mean, it looks good, and it feels like I'm actually playing. It's, it's not stuttering or anything, but uh, it could be better. You see it goes up to 60 frames per second indoors, which is really what you'd like. Uh, come on, see of course, I don't think YouTube actually retains more than 30 frames per second for so when it is uh, uploaded online. So that was Pelagid. 
I guess we're not really going to stop. We'll just keep keep on walking. I'd like to make it to Balmora in this video if we can. Who, who lives here? Ervil's house. Okay. On the outskirts. Man. <laughs> you gotta be, like, on the shit list to get your house built outside the wall. <laughs> it's in a town that small. <laughs> oh, this is just... This looks so good! I'm not even... I'm gonna... I'm gonna eschew the road. I can find my own way. You see, no, you can go your own way. It's gonna be the theme of this entire LP. This whole series. Oh, we got a rat. Let's smack him. So you can see when your fatigue is low, your odds of... Oh, do you see that? We blocked just then. It's automatic in Morrowind, so you don't have to do anything besides equip a shield. Oh, my sword's about to break. No wonder I'm doing so little damage. Alright, let me finish this guy off, this guy off with a fireball. <laughs> yeah, look how much more effective that is. Yeah, I think part of the reason is that our sword is totally scrapped right now. Did I not buy repair hammers? <gasps> oh, I forgot to buy the repair hammers. Yeah, I, I balls up after the last episode ended, and I uh, I hit quick load instead of save, and I loaded it uh, like five minutes earlier when I'd accidentally quick save in the tomb. Or I think it loaded my autosave, actually, in the tomb. So I replayed like the last five minutes of the last episode, and I think I forgot to buy the repair hammers. Crap. All right, well, we'll grab some when we get to Balmora. I'll just use my magic until then. No big deal, really. It's more effective combat method anyway. My character right now is a lot better at magic than with a sword. Of course, that's why I was trying to use the sword anyway. Yeah, so the whole theme for this this character... Uh, is, I, I, I mentioned in the first episode, sort of in passing, that I'd like to play multiple characters through this game because it doesn't make sense to play all the quest lines with one character. But, uh, the... Oops. Get out of here. The series, the, the videos, are going to be split up... are going to split up by the, the character. And so, uh... I guess this one's just going to be... I don't know. I haven't figured out the titles I want to use yet. But I'm gonna have probably three to three to five characters play this game. Look at the real-time shadows. Oh man, it's so pretty. I'm gonna have three to five characters to play through this game, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna identify the the different video series by which character we're playing, and the characters' personalities and skills will d determine which quest lines we do. So each character is gonna do a few quest lines, and. Uh, no, no one video series is going to be just for one quest line. So it'll, it'll give us some good variety, we won't, and we will actually have enough content that each character will probably get to level 10 at least. That's my goal. Ooh. Gosh, the, the sound overhaul is great, too. It adds so many different... We are totally going the, too far east. Oh no, we're doing okay. It looks like the road might actually go cut through the mountains over here. Okay, cool. But these trees here... I mean, we're getting too close to the Ashlands. It's not good. Yeah, so just as, as a general description of Vardenfell, this is the Red Mountain here, the huge volcano that formed the island. And uh, down here in, uh, in the s southern part of the region, basically below my, my mouse pointer here, is the uh, Ascadian Isles region. This is where we, st we still are in them. Uh, it's the pretty coastal land down here. It gets a little swampy in some places, but it's, it mostly just looks real nice like it does here. And then uh, over in the east, there's a little bit more skating isles. And then there's the Grayslands are over here, which is like a big oh, sort of savanna. And then most of the rest of this, uh, and then the West Gash is a sort of a rocky area over here. And then the whole middle of the island is the the, uh, the Ashlands. And it's just because it's, it's way too close to the volcano, and you get all kinds of these kind of trees growing. It's not a very pleasant place. Yeah, look at those. Look at those trees. Wow, those look good. Oh, I missed the road sign. Let me see what this says. Which way to Balmora? That would be that way. All right. Our path is determined. Our fate decided. Oh, not yet. Look at the real-time shadows, man. Look at that. I have them turned all the way up because they look so. They add so much. As the sun moves, the shadows move. I guess the time is traveling pretty quickly here, since the shadows are really booking it. Gotcha! I always dispose of the corpses because it, it makes the mobs respawn sooner. And the more mobs there are to fight, the more experience we get. It's all good in the long run. 
Man, these trees just look nasty. They're sort of blighted by the ash, I suppose. The texture here looks a little funny. It's probably a problem. A little bug, I think. Speaking of bugs, hello you. Oh, I failed casting the spell. I'm too tired, is what it is. My, uh... Ooh, my destruction scale increased. Nice. Okay, which way is Balmora? So there's no road sign here. Oh no, there is. Look at that. Balmora is to the right. Okay, cool. That's what I would have guessed. Uh, yeah, it looks like just a little... Just, just a bit of a gash through the landscape. This is what... This is... Oh, look, there's the fort. Yeah, this is this is just like the the guy that uh, I think it was. Uh, who, gave, who gave us those directions? Who was that? <laughs> he didn't say. We didn't we didn't write down the name of him. Oh no, it's not, here we go. Celus Gravius. Yeah, it was Celus Gravius gave us these directions, and it sounded like he was just right. And here we are. We've gone past the ravine, and now we're at Fort Moonmoth. He saw it pop up in the bottom right next to the the map. Ooh, next to the map shortcut, and then here in the the menu, you'll be able to see it on the map as well. We're we're really close now. Balmora's just over there. Yeah, so this is Fort Moonmoth. This is a, an imperial outpost here. One of our characters will likely get involved here. Oh, look at the texture updates. Man, that stone looks good. It seems like almost every texture in the game is new with these mods. It, they all look really good, too. I'm super pleased with this. Some of you guys were commenting saying you, d you didn't know the difference, that you hadn't seen original Morrowind graphics. Uh, I don't have... Hello. This is the border between two mods, <laughs> I'm betting. I mean, both of them look good, but on the... I mean, that looks like a road. Now it looks like a nice mossy road. But then you sort of get this line. I guess that this is that the different regions are done by different people. So sometimes you get a, a border like that. It doesn't really bother me that much. It doesn't take me out of it nearly as much as the increased detail and the and the, the beauty factor takes me right back in. So I'm not gonna let it decrease my enjoyment. Oh, I haven't seen Balmora yet. Oh, this is gonna be this look it looks, it looks it's already looking like it's gonna be great. I'm loving the amount of foliage around here. It's just so dense. Like if you haven't seen just Google Let's Play Morrowind, and if you want to watch a series that's um, already finished, you can watch uh, Gix play Morrowind. G-I-X. Just look Google, or do on YouTube and search Let's Play Morrowind G-I-X, and you'll get Gix's videos to show up. And uh, he does. He did a great Morrowind series back in the day. Very very slow paced. He he read the text and he paid attention to the to the dialogue and the story. But that's how you're supposed to play Morrowind. You're not meant to. Well, I guess you can really you can speedrun the hell out of it, hell out of it if you want. But I like to take my time with it and enjoy the content that's there. All right, welcome to Balmora. There's a bunch of flies nearby. Apparently, uh, we're out here by the garbage. That's why. Hello, oh, oh man, it looks so it looks so good. I just I can't even. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you gotta watch Gix at least a couple of videos just to to get the. At least the difference in the graphics of how good this mod looks compared to the default Morrowind. Oh man. And the gameplay is totally spot on. It feels just like Morrowind felt, but it looks so much better. Okay, what were we supposed to do? South Wall Corner Club. That's right. It's down in the. I guess that would be over here on the south wall, right? Because there wasn't a whole lot over there on the wall. Is it here? That's a house. What about back here? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I start to walk in here and have it be like, do 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 do. Sorry. Hello. Do you know uh, Caius Cosades? That old sugar tooth. Not sure where he's living now. Ask Bacala Cos Closius, the owner. Oh, okay, cool. Are you Bacala? Sorry, no. stranger. My time is short. You're not Bacalo, you're Sugar Lips. Are you Bacalo behind the bar? No. Where's Mr. Bacalo? Only he stands there. And you are. <laughs> are you Bacalo? Who's, who's the Bacalo guy? Where's he hiding? So what do you want? 
I don't get it. Did she, t did she tell me where to find the guy? Because he's not down in the bar. <laughs> I'm like, uh, maybe he's upstairs. That's probably what it is. Yeah, Let's here he is. Hear. Hello, Bacola. I'm Bacola Closius, publican of the South Wall. We rent beds, and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. Oh, actually, I might have some things to sell you. Let me see. Ooh, we got a bit of gold already, don't we? We're in the money. We're in the money. I don't know. I actually know what I have that I want to sell. I don't know if I found anything good. What does he got? Ah, uh, just a couple basic drinkables. Do you know where Caius is? Old Caius rents a little bread and bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace. Then right up the stairs, left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Alright, thanks. Thanks, buddy. So right up the stairs, left at the top of the stairs, down to the end of the street. First time I played Morrowind, that was so hard for me to follow. Like I couldn't get I couldn't get the directions in my head and figure it out. So it's down here at the end of the street. Valor, that's not Barar's house. Caius Cosade's house. Hello? Oh, sorry. I, God, I didn't mean to. I just... I didn't look. I didn't see anything, man. I just... I'll knock louder this time. Knock, knock. Hello. I'm coming in now. Okay, I guess he's cool. Yes, I'm Caius Cosades. What do you mean you were told to report? <laughs> report to Caius Cosades. What are you talking about? Yeah, I, they told me to come see you, man. I got a package here. So, you say your name is Poncho, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'd let me look at it? Mm, okay, sure. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants me to mentor you, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders, Poncho? Um, will you put a shirt on first? Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Good. Welcome to the service, no novice Poncho. Oh god, was I just enlisted? <laughs> You're now a member of the Imperial Blades. We're the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the Emperor commands, we obey. Do we do, like, enhanced interrogation or something? Like, what's our, what's our, what's our prime directive here? I'm the Imperial Spymaster for Morrowind. Are you in charge of this whole continent for the Blades? That'd be kind of cool. And since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Morrowind, sure are, wow, you report to me. Follow my orders, obey our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you'd like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blade trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the trainers. Can I get the orders now? Okay. So first thing, Pilgrim, you're, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. How about wanderer? Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or Mages Guild, or Cult, or Legion. Advance in the ranks and gain skill and experience. Or go out into town and look for freelance work. Or trouble. <laughs> he suggests that. As long as you're doing something to increase your skills. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Okay. Thanks for the advice, Caius. Speak freely, friend. And the 200 gold. <laughs> Wants us to go buy some goodies for ourselves. Well, I'm going to take that as an opportunity to uh, go steal some goodies. But I think that is going to have to wait for the next episode of Let's Play Morrowind. So we've made it to Balmora, we reported to Caius, and he told us to go stop being such a damn baby. So in the next episode, we're going to make some uh, some trips around. We're going to ride the Silt Strider, and we're going to do some teleporting too. And uh, attempt to get ourselves set up so this character can be begin his journey on the long road to badassery. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.